Not really. Um, just before I went out there, I was kind of looking at the results from last year. Probably not the best thing to do, but I had a look and uh, yeah, I was quite a way off the pace last year um, from what I saw on Roots and Rain. Um, so going out there, I was kind of hoping for a podium. I said that I, I won't be happy with anything less than sixth, really. Um, knew I'd be faster this year, but didn't really know what to expect really in South Africa is not, well I didn't think it would be the best track for me. Um, so yeah, I was kind of hoping for podium, but I didn't really want to say anything, just wanted to see what was going to happen. I did a time practice for it, no I didn't actually, I was going to, um, I had a few problems halfway down. Um, not many girls did it, but I know someone said to me that my first split was like 10 seconds faster than everyone else's. Um, so I guess I kind of knew that my top section was good, um, but yeah, didn't really know until my qualifying run that I could actually do a bit of damage there. Well, I wanted to get a good qualifying run in, I wanted some points really. Um, I thought a few people might save themselves for race day, uh, so I thought I'd go go all out and try and get a decent run in. Um, and it was going really well, it's going really well until I crashed uh, at split two. I think I slid through slid through like the timing beam on my head and slid to. Um, it wasn't a bad crash, it was like a silly mistake. I think I was just so tired, I just hit a rock that I hadn't seen before and went down. Um, I didn't realise then how fast my time had been. I know some people had said that I'd been up, um, but I didn't see splits till like half five that day. It was a shock, I was first at second split and I hadn't expected that at all. Um, yeah, like I said, I knew I'd had a good run, but the first was yeah, it was a bit of a shock, <laughs> um, but definitely gave me some confidence. I knew I was riding good, um, so yeah, it just gave me an extra boost really, which was cool. And uh, yeah. yeah, I was quite excited for this race really, I was excited to get there, get get all the jumps done. I knew I was stronger this year. Um, I talked to Alan Norway and a psychologist at Sports Wales who, who's been having a few chats with me. I um, spoke to them both just before I went out and I was quite excited really, put me in a good frame of mind, um, you know, I'd done everything I could do really, uh, so yeah, I uh, felt good when I got there, got into the track real quick, um, got everything I wanted to do done, so yeah, I was feeling quite confident really. It was hard after qualifying to know what, what to do really, because um, I knew obviously I could and, you know, could win or get a good time there, but it's kind of a strange situation for me to be in, really, to know that I could get a really good result, and then it's kind of like, do you go all out and have a flat out run or hold back a bit? Um, I think I decided at the top to, there's two sections that I kind of wanted to get through safely. Um, so I went a little bit steady there, uh, just kind of, well, I don't know, kind of wish I hadn't, but I didn't crash, so, um, I don't know, I know I did have a good run, um, in practice in the morning it rained, well, no, on the Saturday it rained, and it was so slick in the morning, um, I, I put on different tyres, I put my high rollers on, um, kind of a last minute decision to go with the semi slicks that I'd done in quali, um, so that put me in a, I was I wasn't looking forward to that pedal on high rollers. I wanted I wanted my semi slicks just to give me a bit of an edge. Um because I knew they'd they'd make a big difference. So yeah, I'm glad I had the semi slick on. Um yeah, and Fox sorted me out as well with the dropper post, which was great. Um I didn't think I was gonna get one of them. Some serious heavy breathing going on along that pedal. Um yeah, just from the tabletops, after the tabletops you pedal up a fire rose. And then there's like three jumps that you've got to clear. And after them, I did that once in practice. And I was so tired afterwards. And then you got to paddle across for like, is it a kilometer? I don't know. I don't know how long it is. I mean, I've been training for that all winter. I've been doing intervals on the tier boats. So yeah, that, that definitely helped. Just kind of thought of them and just, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just had a little bit left at the finish. Um, I don't think I could have gone any harder to pedal. I think just in the short section, it was a little bit downhill, I think I just recovered a bit more, got got my legs back and uh, I think just determination to get to the finish line as fast as possible got me through that section. I wanted to get it all good, um, yeah, just concentrated on riding smoothly really and getting everything done 
I don't know why, but I was shocked to be on the podium. I mean, when I was seeing the girls coming down, I was like, oh my god, I'm fifth, I'm on the podium. Fifth podium, yeah. I got all eights last year, which was annoying. I got a sixth at Champry 2010, but um, yeah, first podium. And then I was fourth, and I was third, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm third. Yeah. And then I was second, and it was close to winning. Uh, yeah, I didn't start shaking for quite a while after. I know that my fitness is where it should be in my strength. Um, I'm happy with my riding as well. I'm a lot more, a lot more confident this year just to get on and try things that maybe I was a bit nervous of last year. So yeah, feeling good for the season. I thought I'd be flat out training again really and riding my bike, motorbike sounds good to get some more downhill done. Um, well, riding my bike really, I mean a lot of time was spent in the gym and on the turbo for South Africa. So looking forward to getting on my bike, but it's pretty busy. Um, got a gravity enduro this weekend. Uh, National, going to Sea Otter, oh going right. out there, um, that should be good fun. Um, and then, actually there's another gravity enduro we might be doing. Um, so yeah, I mean it's not just a case of waiting for the next World Cup, got a lot going on in between and uh, hopefully get on my bike a lot more. Well yeah. someone, someone did say, uh, they asked if he was banned from now on. <laughs> um, but it was it was alright actually. I was kind of nervous before I went out. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, last year I never missed him because he was always there. Um, so I wasn't I wasn't sure what it'd be like really. But it turns out Will Longdon's actually quite similar to my dad, <laughs> which we noticed after a few days. But yeah, he seems to look after us quite well. Uh, so yeah, it, it was alright actually. That my dad. I rang him up as soon as I finished. That was the first thing I wanted to do bring them up, they couldn't hear much but I think they got the gist. <laughs> yeah, um, my dad obviously, um, Madison as well, um, I mean they do everything for me, they've, you know, they sort everything out, uh, bikes, kit, the whole team, um, yeah, uh, I can't thank them enough. Will Longdon for looking after us, South Africa, Rob Rowe the mechanic uh, from Finding Tune Guide, uh, the boys from Making It Good Fun. Um, yeah, I don't know, everyone really who's helped out, um, yeah, 